From armored bears to owl bears, nerds are passionate about a lot of things, but there's one thing they like more than anything else, and that is correcting people. This is Um Actually. With us today, we have Siobhan Thompson, Zach Oyama, and Evan Watkins. <laughs> Two of them with invisible fedoras. It's true. Oh, it's... oh my god, sorry. <laughs> what level of nerd would you say you are? I don't know what anything at Comic-Con is, but I would love to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, with that, let's get into it. I have here a stack of statements. These are all false statements about the franchises that are nearest and dearest to your heart. Uh, it will be up to you to find the thing that is wrong with it and correct it. Now, every correction must be preceded by the phrase, um, actually. If you don't proceed it with um, actually, you will not get a point. Can't wait to take you down. <laughs> Great. Let's get started. Question one concerns Harry Potter. Yes! Oh. All of Voldemort's most evil henchmen, namely Lucius Malfoy, Bellatrix Lestrange, and Peter Pettigrew, graduated Hogwarts as members of Slytherin. Uh, um, actually, Peter Pettigrew was in Gryffindor. Uh, That's correct. Pettigrew was uh, a Gryffindor. Thank you. I'm literally reading Prison of Earth <laughs> of Azkaban right now. Major Guess you spoiler. Gone to that bit yet. Slytherin's kind of a shitty house, right? Yeah, it's just all of the assholes. Yeah, they should just get rid of that house, right? At some point, they say they should just say like, no, thank you. Let's distribute the assholes. Right. Oh. But you could also say that about all fraternities. Mm. <laughs> like we could just get rid of them. Queen Amidala of Naboo cast the tie-breaking vote in the decision to award Chancellor Palpatine emergency powers to fight the Trade Federation. Um, actually, at that point, it was Emperor Palpatine? No, that is incorrect, I'm sorry. I don't see how we're supposed to remember movies <laughs> that genuinely are not canon hmm? anymore. Oh, oh yeah, so those are no, canon. Like, canon. Like, these movies um, are actually, canon those are canon. Anymore. Quality does not define canon. Uh, um, actually, it was Bail Organa that cast a tying vote. No, yeah. we're getting closer. Oh my god. <laughs> um, actually, it was Jar Jar Binks. That is correct! <laughs> Um, actually, Jar Jar Binks is the one who cast the vote, raising the big question, who the fuck elected Jar Jar Binks to the Galactic Senate? To be clear, though, still better than Jeff Sessions. <laughs> still a better yeah. senator across the board than Jeff Sessions. I heard, ever. Actually, I heard actually Jar Jar's gonna be running against Jeff Sessions. You know and... what? Good, I'll vote for yeah. I, I will invest a lot of money Jeff into Jar Jar Binks. Jeff Sessions is actually from Naboo. He's uh, got <laughs> the best ears. <laughs> no. Jeff Sessions. <laughs> I was waiting for who was going to be the first to do a Jar Jar impression. <laughs> I'm actually, that was oh a Jeff Sessions. <laughs> After their visit to the Emerald City, Dorothy and her friends travel through Munchkinland to get to the castle of the Wicked Witch of the West. They journey through a forest while armed with a net, bug spray, and a gun. What? <laughs> it seems like a lot of those things are not mm. right. This is from the book of The Wizard of Oz? This is from the movie with details filled in from the okay. book. Um, actually, they're not traveling through Munchkinland. They go through Munchkinland to get to the Emerald City, and they're traveling through some other different place. You are correct. They are not traveling through Munchkinland. Can you be more specific and name the land uh, they're going through? It's like uh, the Marshland or something. Uh, can anyone best Siobhan? Um, actually, it's the forest with those scary trees that throw apples at you. It is the forest with scary trees, but that's not the land they're traveling through. Ah. You have no idea what you're gonna guess. I wanna hear it. I'm actually the bad marshlands. <laughs> the answer is that they were traveling through Winky Land, not Munchkin Land. But the bigger story here, they had a fucking they had gun. A gun. Yeah. Why did they throw water in if they had a gun? This is a very good question. There he is, there's the scarecrow Wait, holding a gun. I don't remember that. Where'd the gun come from? It's the oh. fakest looking gun I've ever seen. Do they by have the way. guns in the, oh. Right? Is like Dorothy come through the thing and she's just like, I got a gun. She's, she's, I'm from Kansas. She's from Kansas, bitch. just like always packing. Wait, in the movie he it, has a gun. This is not Doctor. This is a screenshot from The Wizard of Oz. There is Scarecrow packing no, heat. I feel like it was a choice that the guy who played the Scarecrow made, and then like halfway through, they're like, wait, how long have you been holding this <laughs> guy? What's wrong? This is a segment called, What's Wrong With This Picture? We're going to show you a picture on the screen, and you'll have to identify what is wrong with it. What is wrong with it? This is, of course, from Magic the Gathering. A black lotus card. Um, yes. um, actually, it was not illustrated by Christopher Rush. <laughs> it was illustrated by Christopher uh, Rush. And what a great job he did. <laughs> um, actually, it's one of one. There's not... It's not one of one. Um, actually, it has 
nothing down there. It's not two of two. It's there's nothing down there. That is correct. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! This, oh. this that would be a monster. That, that has, is correct. Yeah. Uh, this is an artifact. As an artifact, it does not have a power and toughness. Those are reserved for artifacts. At most, an artifact creature. That point goes to Mr. Zach Oyama. Moving I'm on. so fucking smart. <laughs> <laughs> The originally published order of the Chronicles of Narnia puts Prince Caspian immediately after The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. But some publishers interject The Horse and His Boy between the two, since the events of The Horse and His Boy take place chronologically after the events of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Uh, um, actually, The Horse and His Boy happens first in the series chronologically. That is incorrect. Really? That is incorrect. Um, actually, they take place at the same time. That's correct. The events Woo! of The Horse and His Boy take place at a different point in Narnia simultaneously with the last chapter of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Really? The first book in the series is The Magician's Nephew, chronologically oh, yeah. speaking. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> How about that? That's what I was getting confused with. The two books that nobody ever reads. In the original Crash Bandicoot, oh, right. <laughs> Crash can gain a new life by breaking a one-up box or by collecting a hundred mangoes. Um, actually, it is not mangoes, it is honeycomb? No, it is not honeycomb. <laughs> you are confusing Crash Bandicoot with For the honeycomb <laughs> monsters. Very similar creature. Um, actually, it's not mangoes, it's bananas. Nope, that is incorrect. That's Donkey Kong. Yeah. No. Um, actually, it's like banjo strings. No, no, I, we'll, we'll go ahead and call it that. <laughs> Like a package of banjo strings? <laughs> I think you're thinking of Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> oh, yeah! I'm thinking of Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> no, I'm afraid they're called Wumpa Fruit. Oh, no! Wumpa Fruit. What? Just a mm. made-up Wumpa Fruit. Cool. Um, this close to thinking of Wumpa Fruit. I feel like Crash Bandicoot gets no respect. I'm fine right. with it. I don't care. <laughs> Life skills! This is our final question, which as always, concerns real life skills. Proper treatment for a minor burn is to immediately wash the burn with antibacterial soap, apply ice intermittently for 10 to 15 minutes, then wrap in a dry cloth. Um, actually run under cold water first, then put the antibiotic cream on it, and then cover with the bandage. I'm going to give it to you. you. You ended up answering the things that were all right, which is you're not supposed to use ice and you are supposed to use cool water. The order, you kind of fucked up, but also I'm sure it would be fine to do it that way. The big thing is just you don't want to use ice. Ice will not do really anything and can potentially damage your skin tissue. You heard it here. <laughs> <laughs> and that's our game! Let's take a look at those final scores. That makes Zach our winner. So yeah! <laughs> I can't believe I won. I'm so <laughs> mad. I'm job. so mad. Now, if you notice something incorrect that I said, feel free to tweet at me at the handle below and correct me, and remember to leave it in the form of an um actually. Check in next episode to see if you were the first person to correct me. You might get a point, which is worth nothing except bragging rights. We made a couple of mistakes in our last episode, and some of you tweeted at us to correct us. Aiden at Haskerfleff tells us that we need to have an accent mark over the E in Pokemon. This is very, very small and picky, which is totally in the spirit of the game, and so we will give Aiden a point. At Doige Nash tells us that the Tarrasque was taken from French folklore and not an original monster to D&D. He is correct, as are the millions of other people who had to tell us the same thing. One point, though, just for George, because he was the first. One point for at mhunter225, who told us that Batman Forever was released in 95 and not 94. Well, that's it for our episode. Join us next time for the game of Nerdy Corrections. I'm Mike Trapp, and this is Um Actually. Hi, it's Mike Trapp from College Humor. Click here to subscribe, click here for more fun things, and send help to keep me from sinking. Please, please help, please help.